Topic 13, Lesson 9, Using Money to Understand Decimals. Well, so far you know how to identify place value for whole numbers. In this lesson, you're going to use money to identify place value for parts of a whole. Our standard is to use the four operations to solve word problems involving distances, intervals of time, liquid volumes, masses of objects, and money including problems involving simple fractions or, in our case, decimals, and problems that require expressing measurement measurements given in a larger unit in terms of a smaller unit. For mathematical practices, we're going to make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. We're going to reason abstractly and quantitatively. We're going to construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others. Use appropriate tools strategically. Our focus is, how are decimals related to money? Well, let's say I give you this right here. Now, how do you read this money amount? You should say 63 cents. Even though there's a dollar sign here, you're still going to say it's 63 cents. Now, is this more or less than one dollar? Correct. It is less than one dollar. Okay, so just so you understand, I want to point out that it's 63 cents and the six right here, it's actually in the tenths place. There's six tenths and right here it would be in the hundreds place and there's three hundredths. So the six, which would be 60 cents, there's six tens, and the three would be three pennies, three hundreds, and they're all together less than a dollar. All right, well, let's take a look at this one. If we have three dollars and 45 cents, and here's our money over here, and we have three ones, this is our whole numbers here. We've got a dollar here, a dollar here, and a dollar here. And then we have dimes, and again the dimes represent tens. That's ten cents, ten cents, ten cents, and it's only part of a whole dollar. If you think about it, there are ten tens in a whole dollar. So really we have, we have 40 cents, or we have four tenths of a dollar. Same thing with the pennies. The pennies over here, we have five of them. So we have five cents. And really, because it's in the right here, it's in the hundreds, we have five hundreds of a dollar. So, in other words, we have our three dollars and forty-five cents here. The three is going to go here. We have three ones. Here's our decimal and we have four tenths, and we have five hundredths. And so just like our picture here, we have our three whole dollars, we have our four tenths, 40 cents, and our five pennies, five cents, or it should be the five hundredths. So it's three ones, four tenths, and five hundredths, three dollars and 45 cents. All right, well now try some on your own. Good luck.